Article 5 to 11 of the Indian Constitution. The population of the state is divided into two classes that is citizens and aliens. Citizens are people who enjoy full civil and political rights such as the right to vote, the right to contest elections, eligibility to hold certain offices. Only citizens enjoy Article 15, 16, 19, 29 and 30 of the Indian Constitution which are certain fundamental rights. Another set of people is aliens. They are citizens of some other nation state. Aliens are further divided into friendly aliens and enemy aliens. Friendly aliens belong to a country that has cordial relations with India. On the other hand, enemy aliens belong to a nation at war with India. And they do not enjoy protection against arrest and detention which is Article 22 of the Indian Constitution. Now, rules of citizenship are written in two places. First, Part 2 of the Constitution of India that is Article 5 to 11 and second, Citizenship Act of 1955. Article 5 to 11 is a declaration of citizenship on the 26 January 1950. Simply, it deals with persons who became citizens on the day of the commencement of the Constitution. This part does not say how to acquire Indian citizenship in future. Secondly, Citizenship Act of 1955. It deals with acquisition and termination of citizenship since it was not mentioned in the original constitution. How to acquire citizenship of India if one desire. So, the constitution empowered parliament to enact a law to provide for such matters and any other matter related to citizenship. In this lesson, we shall deal with the first, that is part 2 of the Indian Constitution, Article 5 to 11. Here, Article 5 to 8 deals with who became a citizen of India on 26 January 1950. So, as per Article 5, every person domiciled in India becomes a citizen of India. A. A person who was born in India or either of the parents was born in India or a resident of India for 5 years immediately before the date of commencement of the constitution, which was 26 January 1950. If any of A, B or C satisfied, he or she became a citizen of India. Now, here it is necessary to differentiate domicile and resident. Generally, a domicile is a place of your ancestors, your permanent home, a place where you belong. A residence, on the other hand, is a place where you live for the time being. It is your temporary home. For example, you must be residing in Delhi for your preparation. One must be living in Bangalore for a temporary job. So this was about Article 5. Now let us move to Article 6. Person migrated to India from Pakistan before 19 July 1948 became a citizen of India on Republic Day. Many Sikh and Muslim brothers who migrated to India became a citizen of India with the help of this provision under Article 6. Now what about a person migrating after 19 July 1948? Suppose a person was migrating to India after 19 July 1948. He was registered after he resided in independent India for 6 months. And then he became citizen of India. Now let us talk about Article 7. A person is migrated to Pakistan from India after 1st March 1947. A person is migrating to Pakistan. Then he figured out a better place to live and returned for resettlement to India. He shall become a citizen of India after residing in India for 6 months and registration under Article 7. Now let us move to Article 8. Article 8 deals with the rights of citizenship of a person of Indian origin residing outside India. A person born in India or any of the parents or any of the grandparents born in undivided India residing outside India became a citizen with the help of a diplomatic channel. So this was Article 8. So in short, Article 5, 6, 7 and 8 talked about persons who became citizens on the 26th January 1950. Now moving to the next article. According to Article 9, if a person voluntarily acquires foreign citizenship, 
that person will no longer be a citizen of india that means india doesn't allow for dual citizenship next article 10 says that your right to citizenship is subjected to the provisions of any law made by the parliament that means your citizenship is subjugated to the parliament and finally article 11 it empowers the parliament to make any provisions regarding acquisition and termination of citizenship and all the other matters related to citizenship the parliament exercised this power conferred by article 11 and made the citizenship act of 1955 which deals with acquisition and termination of indian citizenship about which we will learn in the next lesson I hope you like this video and if you want to you can download these notes from the link given below in the description thank you have a good day